274 million dollars in net profit in the second quarter, the first since going public. That's largely thanks to reduced sales and marketing costs, partly because the pre-summer season is usually quieter for promotions, but perhaps more government scrutiny on practices such as selling goods below cost is a major factor here too. While revenue was up an impressive 89% year on year, it fell short of analyst expectations. User growth is slowing, and CEO Chen Lei admitted that he's rethinking the business model too. All this is further complicated by a new pledge to invest $1.5 billion in second quarter and future profit into agricultural initiatives. Details are scarce, but the announcement should at least please policymakers as President Xi Jinping pushes forward a campaign of wealth redistribution. Even so, the company has warned its bottom line will be hit in the near term. Meanwhile, smaller rival JD.com has emerged as a key beneficiary of tougher competition rules in the sector. Pinduoduo looks ill-prepared as a shakeup in Chinese e-commerce looks imminent.